Me -e. Welcome back to another Guild Wars. Today we're up against Artemis. Um, still top 100 and they're top 100 guild as well. They have the frame. So let's get started on our fort tour. So top, they have a T-Seren Arbiter, so DC is going to pummel them. Ooh, a little scary there. Alright, let's see this one. Let's push this. Strip the immunities. Excellent. Boost the rest of the team up. And we'll soul burn this, take out the Charles. And then we can try and stun this Kron. We do stun the Kron. Then we reset the F Clurry. No defense break and we'll get our skill nullifiers up. And that should be a wrap. K-Ron cannot do anything. Um, we'll just finish the K-Ron here. Then we'll Soul Burn, do some big damage into the Flurry. Oh, very tanky Flurry. But she's going to die right here. Alright, so pretty scary first fight, but we got the W. Let's move on to the next fort. We're about to find out. So let's strip. Okay, so hopefully this Charles isn't too, too tanky. Bump up. Pack this. Charles does die. Strip with Valencia. Excellent. So we can actually... Um, Reset right away, I think. And then FCC will go on Lydica, and Kron will go on Alencia. So we block all that damage. So now we have to work on this Kron. Proc the Immortality. This thing should go on Alencia again. It will fail to kill him. Or her. Because my Alencia is an absolute animal. I would love my... Um, Politica to land blind though. Let's defense break this guy. Get some big damage out. Politica can do this again. And then Sidon can push everyone up. And then finish this FCC. There we go. So Politica is doing work in Guild Wars, guys. I'm enjoying using her a lot. Her kits is very... See how strong this LR Crow hits. So boom. We burn into this Ruel. We give S10A attack buff. And then we try to blow her up right away. How hard does this hit? It's only the first stack, and my team has no AoE. Not too bad. Um, they can't hit my S10A yet. Still have one turn until their S10A starts S1 spamming. Now we drop the attack buffed ball into Ruel. She's very dead. This ball goes into what? The end, flurry, the end. No crit. We will put the barrier up. Start healing a little bit with the pigeon. Ooh, look at that turn cut. Flurry's such an animal. Alright, let's get some damage onto their S10A. It's on Chatty. It's my S10A. Ow! actually hurts. Poke. So we kind of need to kill that um, S10 or this crowd's gonna blow my ass up. I have bird in a second here though. So come on S10 kill that S10. Blow her up. 
There we go. The S10A is down. We can provoke this LR Crow. Didn't get that speed buff off though. That should be okay. It's a two turn provoke. No AoE horse. Although he's turn cycling quite fast. And this one is a wrap. So we're just going to burn here just in case, but he's dead from this. 18,000 damage. And our fort tour is complete. I apologize I have to use DC neat, neat. so much. Now. Welcome back. Today we have a guild wars against knights. We are currently rank 77, and my guild told me this is a very hard guild wars. But importantly, this is a special video because it's the NVIDIA RTX voice debut. So I'm really, my fans are going crazy right now as always, so I'm hoping that it works to stifle that noise. So for this team, I'm pretty scared. The first one, my plan is to land unbuffable without soul burning and then burn S10A multiple times to kill the t Um The second team, I'm also scared because I'm too cheap to change my Ruel's gear. Uh, she's on effect resist, so the Riolet may blow her up pretty quick, which is very scary, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully my effect resistance Ruel can tank through it. Alright, so we need to strip and push back. Hopefully um, Basar doesn't fail here. There we go. Um, except Basar is dead already. Jesus, stupid Elbrus. A little bit of lag here. And, um, yeah, let's get some big damage onto Charles. We stun him. Um, we can get the barrier up before T. Surin goes, so that's nice. Um... Unusually laggy. I wonder if this is the RTX voice. Can we kill this Charles? Yes, we can. Now what we do here is burn it out. Oh, -ho! very laggy. Burn again. Moonlight Dream Blade. Burn one more time. And T. Surin is dead dead -o. The Sar is going to drop dead here, but no big deal. We should be fine. Alright, now we throw the testicle at the FCC. And that strategy worked out. Now to see if we could survive this opener with my... Effect resist Ruel. Oh, Moonlight Dream Blade, the LR Prow. Okay, so clearly he's very fast. My DN is 217, so he's faster than that. I'm a little scared here because um, I really need the defense buff. But, uh,. This t is probably going to silence me. And the Elbrus comes out. Of course. No. And the Greater Alexas. So this is a very bad start. Um, we get silenced. Let's advance together. Let's just do this and heal so that my Alencia can get defense buff up. Here comes the attack buff for them. Charles doesn't look too tanky. I need my damn Alencia to get Mind's Eye though. Oh, he's on counter set. And he procs DS2, even though she has no buffs. 
we can at least give defense buff to her now. It's going to reduce LR Prow's cooldown by one, though. Okay, and a dual attack. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What is this RNG? So the defense buff is gone now. Um. Elbrit. Oh, what the f. <laughs> FCC is taking a freaking pummeling here. And she's dead. Um. You gonna freaking Elbrus me again? Jesus, 100% Elbrus. Oh my god. Um, and T-Cern has her S3 now. LR Crow has his thing as well, so I'm about to get Dunkaroo here. All systems on. Hopefully this doesn't kill the end. Let's advance together. Okay, we can at least get the anti crit up. And my Lency has not gotten a single mind's eye this entire match. That's not really helping either. Will you fight until the end? I believe this Okay, so we can heal a little bit. Kill this damn Charles. I will guide you through the light. Okay, Charles should die here. Okay. Um. I think I'm just gonna burn this. It. I believed this is what the goddess willed. Alright, let's get this anti crit up. I was debating just putting up the barrier. Should be able to kill LR Crow here. And get um the defense buff up for this next T Surin S3. I wonder what this lag is. Is this RTX voice taking up resources? Okay. We will heal up a little bit here. Still zero mind's eye procs. But phew. We do take the W. Um, we lost FCC though. This is definitely a tough Guild Wars. Now let's move on to the final fort. All right, so final fort. Um, I'm going to do something real risky here. Is this too risky? Do I need to bring damage mitigation? Hmm. I probably do need to bring damage mitigation. Is there gonna keep getting my uh, ah screw it, I don't feel like regearing. Alright, let's just try it. Uh, my champ Z is not that strong, but Champ Z, their entire team has debuffs, so if they go on him, it'll be pretty nice. Alright, good. We at least get this up, although um Valencia will probably remove it, but just for turn cycling getting the barrier up, I'll just do it. So Valencia will go. I was actually hoping T Surin would go first. And my e Momo doesn't have that much effect resist. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Well, that didn't do a damn thing. Um, let's do baby heal first. This is not looking good, actually.
All right, I am back, although it's looking bad. DF locked in, as usual. All right. So these guys are doing a lot of damage, which is concerning me heavily. Oh, hey, my Champsy is on Abyssal. I didn't know that. <laughs> um, I thought he was on Violin, but I must have uh, probably taken it off for s 10 or something. Okay. Get a defense break. Oh, here we go. Now we have provokes up. So hopefully this works out. Um, can we cut? I'll just do the baby heals. Debating putting immunity. All right, we'll just keep countering them slowly. To do the attack buff again. Hopefully this team works out. It was I was trying to big brain this one. Provoke, yes. I'll show you my power. Um let's work on you. Okay, so she cuts. Hopefully my champ C counters here. Please get unbuffable. Nice. Oh Moonlight Dream Blade though. Bastard. Okay. I'm just going to heal up Dien because Dien's getting blown the hell up. Um, whatever. Try and sleep you. Nice. Kill the stand t -Surin. Double resist on the bleed. Now t is going to get a barrier probably. Um, let me just attack this and pray that Champ Z hits her. No more defense buff on Champ Z. Don't waste my time. Okay, please hit the T Surin. Did not, we just gave Mind's Eye. Alright, counter and kill. No bleeds again. This is what the goddess did. Um shoot. I don't like this. Might as well just hit her. Champ C, please don't get one-shotted. Can Dien cut? Ow. Let's advance together. He does cut. Oof, she already has um. Hmm. Anti-crit or barrier? It may behoove me to just barrier here, so I'm just gonna barrier. Okay. Um... Hmm. That's a sitter. Okay. This MLBB is really screwing me over. Uh, let's just heal the Amomo. It's tricky because I want a Soul Burn, but then um, can't really give Cesarado. Oh my goodness, that hurt. Ooh, double stun though. Um. Maybe I'm gonna burn this. I don't really need souls for anything. We need to top this damn Champ Z off quickly because this freaking Ysurin hits so damn hard with the attack buff. Kill her! God! Oh no! No, 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 no. Ooh! Oof! All right, so the scary big brain comp barely worked out, barely. Um, but I think we eked out the W there. So thank you, Champ Z. Now we see another Broman nightmare comp. How many silences this time? Oh, Jesus. Oh, and the greater attack. Okay, so I probably am just going to lose this here. Um, now isn't the time to hesitate. 
Yes, is a terrible, terrible start. Because I cannot heal, and this Aaron's gonna just dunk me. No attack buff, though, no attack buff. But if Arbiter gets one more greater attack, or one more Alexa stun or something, I am totally hosed. Ah, oh, of course. Okay. Ruel can heal herself momentarily here. Oh my god. Oh, stunned my Ruel! This is a freaking nightmare. I hate you, Broman. I, the funny thing about Broman is if you have um, a Pywin, he's an absolute joke. Okay. Can we kill this thing at least? Kill one thing before we lose? If my Ruel can survive this next hit, I can recover, but if he gets Alexis, I'm screwed. Ooh! Ooh. Um, let's push this bastard back immediately. Heal up Ruel. And then revive Prow. Can I provoke the Arbiter? No, I cannot. The Prow's dead. Ow. Bring Prowl back for more damage mitigation. I lose the defense buff though. How many souls do I have? I need to soul burn ASAP. Now isn't the time to hesitate. Um Rayon has two turns on S3. Can I provoke the Arbiter? God, none of these provokes are landing. <sighs> well, if I kill Arbiter, he's going to S3 me again. If I go on Crayon, my Ruel doesn't have a heal up. But honestly, the Crayon could probably just kill with the S1, so maybe I just do it. Do I get enough souls to soul burn the S1 if I do this? Please have enough souls. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. The best case scenario. I still will probably die, but he doesn't have attack buff. She lived. She lived. She's fine. Okay. Hey, um, finish this guy. Oof. So scary. This damn Arbiter. I think DC could just solo this here, though. Let's try to provoke. Zero provokes this entire game. Don't kill him. Nice. Now we get the defense buff up. And oof! These were some scary, scary forts, guys. But, uh... This team is just too pro. I'm just, um... I'm a god! As the E7 YouTubers would say. <laughs> So there we go, we do manage to eke out a win against all of these Puff Puff Horts. And we're going to punish this Arbiter with the horse to teach him a lesson for almost giving me a heart attack. Alright, so Fort Tour is complete against this top 100 guild. I'm getting uh, exceedingly efficient at it. I think... Um, I took myself out of the stronghold for a fort because uh, my defense is terrible. But I think win-wise, yeah, I've been doing pretty solid against these top 100 forts. So anyways, that's my guild wars. Um, 77. Looks like they're destroying us right now, though. We have 16 more tokens, but they have more than 2,000 more Havoc. So I'll write up these sport notes for the guild now, and hopefully we can at least not lose by a terrible margin. The last Guild Wars was actually hilarious. We uh, tied but won because of some other mechanic. But anyways, hopefully my voice was better this time around. Looks like it introduced a little lag, but I think it's worth it. And until uh, next time, peace out, boys.